Hey everybody, it's Derek Fowler. Um, I'm going to be part of the uh, 2023 Chili Smackdown that's put on by Not Another Homestead, Ginger and Joey, and uh, Tony at Kettle Kitchen. And I guess we're going to make some chili. Let's get into it. All right, using two and a quarter pounds of ground beef. I guess you guys don't want to see this part. Just gonna get in here, take this apart, get it browned up nicely. Not gonna put any season in this right now. You know, the seasoning already has salt, pepper, stuff like that. I could salt and pepper and meat right now, but there's just really no point because there's there's plenty of seasoning going in there, plenty of salt and pepper already in the seasoning packet, so or what I'm gonna be using. So I'm sure you guys have seen hamburger meat get brown. And uh, you know what? I'll just come back if I get this brown and get it brown. Hey, what's up guys? We are back. Got this meat all nice and browned up. I'm gonna get a half a can for somewhere thereabouts. Uh, some tomato paste. It's the first thing we go with. Kind of want to mix that in a little bit, stir around the ground beef, just something we always do here. And this is just a simple chili, it's not nothing fancy. It's something you do on a work night when you come home, you're tired. You want to throw something together, get it started in the pot, and then go sit down while it simmers. Okay. Now we're going to get down with this right here. El Paso chili mix. Chili season, sorry. This is all I can find. I normally go with the McCormick. Let's get it the mark. <laughs> but guess what? I thought I had some. I did not have any. So we are going with this. I always go with two packets because there's a lot going in here. I even want a little pop of, chip, a pop of spice while you eat your chili. So. Get that in there and get it started going. Now I've got to get this heat back up. And uh, like I say, this is not a real fancy chili. So right now, Going in with a can of tomato sauce. Yeah, just made a mess all over my spine. And we're also going with a can of petite diced tomatoes. There's something about tomatoes in chili that just makes it so much better. And we're also going with. Sorry for that, I should have it open already. Two cans of light red kidney, kidney beans, sorry. And you kind of want to keep that juice in there because that's flavor. And it kind of helps you have juice for later. Even though I got some water saved up here on the side, just in case I need it. But if it won't be, it hopefully there's be plenty of juice and stuff in there. And it won't be too dry. And my wife is going to beat me for making such a mess in this kitchen. <laughs> And the thing is, this is basically the full ingredient list for this chili. It's just something quick and simple. I mean, you can make any night of the week at home, throw it together, and it's even better the next day. It's all stirred together and I'm mingling together. And I might have put too many beans. But the thing is, you can't really ever have too many beans. Like old uh, Ginger might say, might give you the toots, but it'll still be good. Uh, we're going to get this back up to a little boil and bring it back to a simmer. 
let it kind of congregate in here and get some flavors going. And uh, and I'm trying to get this camera back up right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I mean, uh, this is just simple stuff we make here all the time. Just you know, throw something together on a work night, have a nice pot of chili. It generally lasts a couple of days. You always throw some in Tupperware, put it in the freezer, have it for another day. But I mean, it goes great with some good chili dogs. <laughs> and uh, I said, we just enjoy it around here. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to have some nice brisket in there, stuff like that. And, and you can order this recipe any how you want. Like I said, it's just <clears throat> basically two and a quarter pounds of ground beef, um, the seasoning. I have a can of tomato paste, two cans or one if you prefer of kidney beans, whichever kind of beans you like. Uh, one can of diced tomatoes, one can of tomato sauce. And like I said, I have, I have a cup of water sitting aside reserved for later in case I need it, in case there's not enough liquid in here. And because you want to let it simmer for a while, but those flavors just come together. And uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit here and simmer and come together. And I'll get back with you guys in just a little bit. Thanks for staying with me. Hey everybody, we're back again. Please excuse me with the filming and stuff and the quality and all that good stuff because I'm still brand new to this. I've been doing it for like a month. But guess what we got? We got a nice pot of chili going here. And we are about to get us up a bowl. Oh yeah. thing is, these mugs were given me by a really good friend quite a few years ago. They actually came with chili seasoning in them. Uh, I've always kept them around, especially when it's cold outside, which is not here right now in Georgia. But I've always kept them around just in case. Now, I like to have mine. I slip in because the wife does not like onions. I decided to chip up a few myself. Dice a few up real quick. <clears throat> I mean, okay, you gotta have some cheese. Cheese makes everything better. Kind of like bacon. And sour cream. It just goes in there. This may not be the prettiest presentation <laughs> because the sour cream didn't cooperate just right. But I really enjoy mine like that with the sour cream and you stir it up and it looks so good. But then, you know, I used to always eat it with crackers. But somebody told me about this a while back and I just fell in love with it. The sour cream just makes it so much better. And the onions, because my wife doesn't like onions. Hers, of course, already said that. But you know, it just makes it that much better. Especially if you get one of those onions is nice and warmed up in there. It just makes it so good. And matter of fact, I had to run my wife out of here earlier. Because <clears throat> she was in here with the Doritos. And you know, I take a little bite of that. That's very nice, guys. Really surprised me how good it's turned out. I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in. Please go check out uh, Joe and Ginger, not from the homestead, uh, Tony Kettle Kitchen. They used to have the playlist up. I've already seen a few videos. There are some great videos, There's some great chili recipes out here. Even like this one, you can take this and go all kind of different directions with this. Make it your own. Have fun with it. Sorry, still got a little bit in there. But uh, just have a great day and enjoy the Chili Smackdown 2023. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.